and welcome to TST Fitness and Wellbeers Workout of the Month for April. So this month we have a Pilates inspired routine for you, focusing a little bit more on your core and your posture, flexibility, things like that as opposed to the HIIT training sessions that you've been used to from us for a little while. So let's go to the board. First exercise on your list is the one leg stretch, sometimes called the single leg stretch, um, the saw. So this one is essentially all about abdominal strength as well as hip flexibility. Then we have the saw, which is more about mobility of the spine and flexibility within the hips. The neck pull is about flexibility in the hamstrings and through the spine. It's known as your posterior chain. So everything from your head to your heels at the back is your posterior chain. And it's how it all connects together. It's a very important one for that part. Teaser is all about the abdominals, so working in the strength of the abdominals, stability in the shoulder girdle and in the hips. Leg pull prone is uh, also known as a leg pull front. It's a, a position that is often thought of as the origins of the plank. The side bend is all about the obliques, the um, internal and, and external obliques and working through the hips and the strength in your glutes as well. So the stability in your shoulder is quite important for that one. I'll give you a few different options of, of ways that you can adapt these to make them so, slightly easier or harder. I've set it so that you're doing five repetitions um, and with three to five sets. So it really depends on how much time you have. It's about getting these exercises correct as opposed to actually working on the, the strength side and then the, the muscle burn that you would get from a standard workout. It's about getting your body into the correct position and uh, making sure that you've got the breathing right. So now I'm going to take you through each exercise in turn so that you can see how they're done and then you'll be able to put them into your workout. So first exercise we have on your list is your uh, one-legged stretch. So roll to your back, set up your neutral spine, making sure rib cage is pulled down, shoulder blades are flat, very small curve through the lower back, hips are level, tuck the chin in. But if you find that tucking your chin in makes your rib cage lift, then it's Better to put a little bit of support underneath your head, maybe a rolled up towel or something, just to lift your head slightly so that you can keep your spine in alignment. Drawing the belly button in, pull up through the pelvic floor, take a breath, and then exhale and gently lift legs into tabletop. Inhale again. Exhale, curl the body up so the shoulder blades are just resting on the bottom tip and we're going to draw knee in towards the chest. Hand on the inside of the knee and the outside of the ankle. Now to start off with, you can do this one with a slightly extended knee, drawing in through here. We inhale through to centre and exhale as you extend. Inhale, exhale, keeping that core contraction as you're pushing the leg away. The more you extend, the more of an abdominal challenge and a hip flexor challenge this is for your body. So work to the level that suits you. Second one on your list is the saw. So we're seated, we have the feet nice and wide either with the knee straight or knee slightly bent. Straight is better, but if that means that your back is going to round, then you're better off having a little bit of a bend through the knees. From here, we tuck the hips to make sure you're sitting right onto the sitting bones, not onto your tail feather. So sitting up nice and tall. Draw the tummy in, lift through the abdominals and drop the, rib, the lower rib cage down. Breathe and expand into the lower rib cage. Take a moment just to get your body settled. Try and make sure that your head is stuck right on top of your spine. We breathe in, arms come wide. Exhale, rotate through the waist and we lean forwards in towards the opposite foot. Arm comes back, but not behind the chest. So arm stays in line, 
and we reach forward, inhaling back to center, exhale, reach, inhale, exhale. As you go through, you'll gradually be able to start increasing your range of motion. So your flexibility will improve, your hamstrings will start to loosen off, so you'll be able to bring your body forward a lot more. What we've got to try and avoid is this curling and crunching through the abdominals. So you're lifting your rib cage up and over. So try and imagine that you've got a beach ball between your body and your thigh and you're pulling your body over the top of it. Don't let it collapse into the leg. So lift from the rib cage, push your body over the top and we lift up. Then we come into your neck pull. So you can either have feet together or hip width apart, depending on flexibility and the strength through your lower back. If you have any kind of lower back issues there, it's better to have them hip width apart. So again, we've got the nice straight spine. We're seated onto the sitting bones. Belly is drawn in and we pull the lower rib cage down, stacking the spine on top. Fingers to the back of the head, if that's comfortable, but the name suggests you're going to be pulling your head forwards. What I want you to try and do is think about lengthening through the spine. So instead of pulling forwards, you're trying to actually use the movement of your head to create that curve. So you're not putting extra stress through the neck with your arms, they're just creating a little bit more resistance. So taking a breath, we're going to exhale and draw your body down. Again, beach ball up and over the top, pulling your body forwards. Inhaling, lift back up. Exhale. Very dependent on your hamstring flexibility, this one. So if you find that it's better for you, Put a little block underneath your hips just to help tilt you forward slightly or have the slight bend in the knee. Remember what we're aiming for is that spinal stretch. So as you pull your head forward, you'll feel a big stretch, particularly in the middle of your back. So you're trying to keep that spinal stretch and using your breath to help your body to relax into it. Next one on your list is your teaser. Sitting up nice and high on the sitting bones. Lower rib cage pulled down, lengthening through the spine, breathing into that lower rib cage, not up into the top of the chest. Lean back slightly, take a breath. This is the way that I find is the easiest way to get into the position to start off with. There are many different ways that you can do it. So breathe in. And on your exhale, we're going to gently lift the knees to start you into tabletop. When you're ready, we then extend. Now for most people, this is enough. Yeah? So actually holding that V-sit position is enough of an exercise. If you can, we're going to add in the teaser part. Now, as you can see, I find that one quite challenging, especially in my current state. So, if you find it easier just to hold that V-sit position, then please do. What I'm going to show you is a slightly easier version that gets those abdominals working, and maybe together we can work our way up to doing a proper teaser. So, I'm going to do this one with my feet on the floor to start off with. Arms are up in front. Nice straight spine, neutral spine, drawing the tummy in. Shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe. 
exhale. In. So as you can see, we're tucking that spine under, upper back and mid back stay nice and straight and the movement comes from the lower spine and from the abdominals. You have to be very careful with this one, that your hip flexors don't try and do all of the work for you. So if you're only feeling this here, you know that it's your hip flexors that have taken over and your abdominals have switched off. So you have to really focus on making sure it's the abdominals doing the work and not your legs. So next one on your list is your leg pull pro. Hands are underneath the shoulders, directly underneath. Press the fingertips into the floor so that you're not putting the pressure through your wrists. Draw the tummy in, slight curve through the lower back and we push the ground away until your shoulder blades come flat against your rib cage belly drawn in. We tuck the toes and lift into your full setup position. If this feels too much, you can do it from knees. Now from here, we're taking a breath. We lift the leg. So if you want to do this one on your knees, you can do. Making sure you've got that nice straight spine. Draw the tummy in. There is a slight angle where your hips are just to make sure that you're keeping your spine nice and long. It's very tempting as you extend your leg to actually extend through your lumbar as well and allow your abdominals to drop. So it's very important to keep that spine nice and long and straight. Push the ground away and press your fingertips into the floor. Good. Last, by no means least, is your side bend. So, hand or elbow, the um, proper version is to do it onto your hand, I'm going to do this on my elbow. So we have knees in line with body, hips, knees, shoulder, form one straight flat line at the front. Make sure the knees don't creep forwards. Get your balance, push the ground away with your shoulder, so you align your shoulder stack them on top of each other, lift through the lower ribs, take a breath, exhale, push the ground away, top leg extends, arm comes up, bottom leg extends, from here we're going to lift the arm and lift the hips, driving up and over, Bottom leg can stay on the floor. Both legs in a bent knee. Can even be up on the hand. So those are your exercises for your workout the month for April. We've got your Pilates focused, core stability, flexibility, uh, strengthening work for you to do for the next month or so. We always love to hear how you're getting on. So if you can, please send us an email, email address across the bottom, give us your feedback, any exercises that you'd like to see in our uh, upcoming routines, anything that you'd like to add, please do let us know.